All right, fuck it. We got to talk about Tariq. We're going to get this thing rolling. Tariq. I knew you was going to let that nigga in. Tariq. We raised you better than that, Diana. All right. So the first time we see Tariq, he's asking Don Carter. So I gave the whole series, like the whole series, like an eight. They got the vehicle in here. Don Carter just waking up. Ah, shit, man. What the hell's going on, man? Y'all niggas still got me locked up. Tariq's like, yeah, yeah. You need an answer. You need an answer to the piper. Now, they don't know that Monet is on a live chat. So Tariq is just talking to Braden and Effie like, man, I don't know what we going to do. So Tariq pulls the Thule out. Tariq pulls the Thule out. Remember, Tariq was sleeping on the floor. They had to slap him a couple times to wake him up. Tariq, come on, wake up. Tariq, wake up. So Tariq is about to crash out. Like, man, I'm about to unalive this fool, man. Give me the, ooh, give me the, give me the Thule. Give me that pow, pow, pow. I'm about to, ooh, I'm about to do something bad to him. I'm a bad man doing good things to good people. You know what I mean? I'm a bad man living in this bad world. I'm doing bad things to good people, people. But Tariq goes over there, and Don is like, you know you didn't fucked up, right? You know unaliving me would be the worst thing you could do. Now, Tariq has a little bit of common sense, and this is where Tariq the mastermind, you know what I mean? Tariq the mastermind, wink, wink, you know what I mean? Tariq the mastermind. The mastermind, Tasha's son, you feel me? The mastermind is like, wait a minute. All right, Don Carter got some information on us. Now, they're trying to figure out what's the next move because if they know that Don has this, Tariq got to call Davis. He's like, listen, Davis, this is who he always consults with. Davis has got the best interest for Tariq because he knows Tariq is a cash cow. And what we mean by that is Tariq is $500,000 whenever he show up. I be feeling like the man when I walk through. And he's done what you're saying when I walk through. I got all the hopes there when I walk through. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Rich homie. So he calls Davis, and Davis is like, all right, listen, Tariq. Let's take this step by step. Don got something on you. You need to get something on him. What could you potentially do? Now, now Tariq is like, all right, we need to get to the house because there is the footage where Braden and Tariq were wilding out. The only reason Tariq was wilding out because of his baby mama. So this is why you, well, I mean, I don't know. I, I never had a baby mama. Well, I almost had a scare one time, but I never had a baby mama. But this is why you don't get caught up in baby mama drama. This is baby mama drama one-on-one right here. Tariq and Brayden, they went and unalived Zion because his baby mama. Now, his baby mama's like, Tariq, oh, they want me to go do this. Turn out his baby mama is going to send him through hell. So you got to make sure you have kids as the right person. So he's like, listen, Effie, you, Brayden, I need y'all niggas to go kick in the door. I need y'all to get on that computer. Brayden's like, come on, man, Tariq, I don't want to do this. He's like, shut up, Brayden. I need you to go and do this. If not, then we're going to be screwed. And Davis is on the phone, and he's like, I really don't want to hear you talking about this because I want to be able to, to deny anything if it comes up in court, even though he's not a lawyer right now. So they end up going over to the crib and Tariq is sitting down with Don and he's like, all right, man. So what's really going on? He even pistol whips him. Now Tariq is going out on a limb and he's just reaching and he's talking about, so what about your wife, man? She knows she married a murderer. Don Carter got a little bit of psychological over him. Like, nah, 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 Tariq. <laughs> See, you got young blood. I remember I was your age. See, Tariq. I see the girls you got around you, Effie. Yeah, I know about Lauren, Diana. See you playing the game wrong. He's like, man, what are you talking about? What about your wife? Don Carr's like, don't worry about my wife, kid. Don't worry about my wife. So Tariq is really stalling until Braden and Effie can get him some information. Now, while they at the house, he's still sitting here. And Don Carter's tied up like, man, you might as well let me go. Because if not, they're going to be on your ass. Now, you got to understand, have you ever had a situation have you ever been in a situation where you knew you were in the wrong, but you're wishing for the best that you can get out of whatever scenario you're in? You know what I mean? Like, 
you know you fucked up. They're gonna come and question you about what's going on. And it's like, damn, I gotta all right, hold on. What can I say? What can I say happened? I've been in that situation many of times. Now I can only imagine what kidnapping a police officer. Like, we're done. We're cooked. We're going to jail. Now I've done some shit that I, I deserve to, to go to jail for a little bit of time. But you know, unfortunately for me, the law didn't pick me up. You know what I mean? I was a minor, so you know, things happen. But just knowing, like, dog, we're screwed unless Cokehead Braden and Happy Pants Effie can figure some shit out, man. <laughs> no label to label in here. What up? He says shit all the time. So imagine what Tariq is going through right now. Now we see Tariq keeping his cool, but in reality, in reality, that heart, you hear that? That's Tariq's heart. That's what's going on right now. He's like, man, hopefully they find something. And Carter's chilling. Carter's like, man, fuck it. They ain't going to get nothing on me. But the thing is, we're all humans and all humans make mistakes. So we know Don Carter is going to end up slipping. So once they get the call back from uh, Braden, because they over there, that's their story. Braden calls Tariq. He's like, Tariq, what's going on? He said, man, we ain't really got nothing because we can't delete the footage. He's like, man, what the fuck you mean you can't delete the footage, Braden? Braden's trying to explain to Tariq, like, man, this isn't a computer. It's a, it's a, all right, listen, Tariq. This is what Effie told me. This computer, it is a government computer, but it's not, it's not connected with a CAC. Now, a CAC is a common access card. Now, you use that in the military, civilian, like contractors use it. A lot of uh, DOD officials, you know, say anybody that pretty much works with the government, they know what a CAC is. So he's like, look, we can we can we can view it, but we can't really like delete nothing because that's just all on like, man, we we, we I mean, we could delete the file. But man, it, 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 that, that, that just ain't enough to read. And to read, he nervous, that heartbeat. So what do y'all got? You're like, man, well, what we can come up with is. There's a case file. You know, what is his name? Come on. The command camel. Come on. Come on. Uh, what you, you, you uh, I can't pronounce his name. Was it Tate? There's a guy named Tate that he keeps looking up his record. Therese's like, Rashad Tate? He's like, no, 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 no. I think Kim 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 Is that Kimmel? Effie, what is that? Is that Kimmel or is that what is that? Camel? It's Kamal. Oh, oh, Kamal Tate. You you know a Kamal Tate, Tariq? Tariq, like, Kamal Tate? Hey, what he got on? He's like, man, it's like the ballistics and shit. So, like, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, meet me back at the warehouse. <laughs> so he's like, meet me back at the warehouse. Now, Davis ends up getting the ballistics, and when they show up to the crib, they show back up. Tariq sits down. He's like, does your wife know that she was married to a murderer? Now, I don't even know why they mentioned you know, we had this whole hype train behind Don Carter. Oh, Don Carter's wife was on the line. We didn't even hear nothing about his wife. They just hyped that up for no reason. But talking about, mm, did your wife know that she married a murderer? He's like, <laughs> Tariq, you don't know nothing. Well, then they dropped the ballistics for him on him. Do I got that? Hold on. Do I got that? Man, it was so many times it was in the warehouse. So they end up getting the information from Davis. Tariq's been in here. He didn't pistol whip Don Carter. They going back and forth. Don talking about, you got to release me. You ain't going to be able to get nothing on me. But it turned out the ballistics, it actually matched. And as they were doing a little bit of digging, it looks like the case file was closed. By none other than Don Carter. So when Tariq presents this, this is the same scenario I was talking about with Tariq. When you know you done fucked up, you know what I mean? You, you know you done fucked up, right? So Tariq is like, uh, here you go. Here's the ballistics. So you had something to do with Tate. He's like, wait, 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 wait. You remember on Scarface where he, he shot old boy? And he was like, well, you can't shoot a cop. Tom, uh, <laughs> not Tommy. Tony going to say, Whoever said you was a cop. Well, wait a minute, Tony. Wait a minute. Now, nah, hell no. Nah. So now Tariq got the upper hand and he's like, fuck, God damn, boy, I had it on my computer. That's why when you use the computer, they got a thing called incognito mode. 
You got to always use incognito. Don't just be on the websites looking up regular shit. Go to incognito. It's called incognito, but it's pronounced in in, uh, in French, incognito. <laughs> Get on there and look up shit. But Tariq presents this, and now they got Davis right where they want him. Not Davis, Don. Why they give both of them a, the same damn name pretty much? So from there, when's the next time? Oh, Tariq shows up with the crew. So at this point, it's just a lot of talking from Tariq. Tariq really hasn't got any sunlight. They had Tariq moving around like a vampire this episode. You know, he never went out in the light. He was always inside. It's dark as hell. And he got to get the crew together. He's like, all right, man, look, we need to figure out how we're going to get rid of Davis. My condolences for Monet. We just skipped over that. <laughs> no labels there. My favorite part is when Tariq pistol whipped that nigga. Hey man, Tariq pistol whipped David. Uh, Don was in there talking regular. Tariq, like, Bow! hey, that changed Don's whole tune. <laughs> Shit, I ain't never been pistol whipped. I got hit in my uh my knee with a pistol though. Man, let me tell you that shit ain't right. But I got hit with a golf club in my knee. I had a, a inch of glass up under my right. I mean, my left knee. I had to have surgery on to get it up out of there. Man, my knee didn't got toe up. <laughs> no diddy but Tariq is over here and he's basically the same way he talked to Braden about L remember he was like man L will pull through it he's like oh my condolences we need to get Don Carter so I like that about Tariq man even though he's you know what I'm saying he got a partner with the Tejadas he's still treating the Tejadas like man this is my revenge season fuck y'all niggas <laughs> so he's like alright man how are we gonna get at Don Carter cause we need to get into the computer Everyone's looking around. Effie's like, man, I'm not trying to do no more. Kane wants to really get even. Brayden is like, fuck, man. I wonder where my next meal is coming from. So Tariq is like, all right, listen. This is what we're going to do. You trying to find Noma. We need to get these fouls from Don Carter up out of here. Let me go get Anya. Drew, remember that plan that you sent me on with you? And Diana going to your brother's wedding, and then your fucking mama set me up with Braden and Effie. And then your matter of fact, y'all mama left me last week, man. Or yesterday. Y'all mama left me, man. Hell no, nah, man. Fuck that. Give me my condolences back. Monet left me to hang and, and hang out to dry because your mama said we was gonna kidnap Carter and put Carter in the trunk. But it turned out Carter arrested me and Braden and Effie had to save me. So you know what? You two hotter niggas. Y'all gonna have to figure that shit out on your own with Noma. But Drew, you owe me because Monet set that bullshit plan up and y'all niggas left me. And that's why we're in the predicament now where we had to kidnap Don Carter. Tariq should have called all of them out. Tariq should have told them straight up, y'all niggas is fucking up, man. Y'all niggas had that shootout. The police is around. Question us about all this shit. Y'all niggas then kidnapped Anya trying to find out where Noma's at. Y'all niggas set up the whole goddamn Don Carter play for me to get arrested. And then Monet ended up getting shot and left me. Fuck y'all Tejadas, man. Tariq need to stand on business. But instead, he's like, you know what? I'm going to let that shit slide, man. We're going to do what we got to do. Drew, we need you to go delete these files. After you got that thumb drive, upload that. Kane, don't worry about it. I got Anya. <laughs> when's my london trip uh next next friday i'll be in london next friday i'll be in london till monday going to the football game on sunday you feel me uh so Tariq goes and saves anya he goes in the back room and anya's like Tariq, how did you know i was here he's like don't worry about that we need to get you out of here we need to get you to your mother now out of nowhere anya's just scared so we really can't knock her she's scared as hell how did you even know I was here? You're like, hey, hey, shut up. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So they end up dipping out and they running out of there. The plan was good, though. The only issue is I wouldn't have trusted Kane. When they were running out of here, did you guys, would you trust Kane on this plan? Knowing that Kane does want to get rid of Noma, would you trust to have Kane shooting at the vehicle as you're driving off? Would you trust Kane to actually miss these bullets? Be real. Would you trust Kane? Uh, 
Because <laughs> Kane came out, pop, 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 pop. And I'm like, man, you driving off. I'm like, man, I don't, I don't know, man. Kane kind of wild. Kane kind of wild, man. I'm just you know, talking about, hell no. Look at Kane, man. Kane came out shooting like he meant it. Like, man, if I can get rid of this bitch ass nigga Tariq right now, man, you can, we could just say it was an accident. And then Anya shows where Obama is. It's 55%. How do you get to 55% trust? It's like, it's either you do or you don't. But it's like, you know what? I'm 5% on, I, I do trust him. <laughs> like, how is that 5%? Like, okay, I, I believe Kane ain't going to shoot me. Like, but then again, that nigga Kane is wild. Fuck it. I mean, at this point, we got to go. So they driving off and Anya's falling for the oldest trick in the book. You know, I'm going to give away the game right now. I'm going to give away the game right now. Listen up, ladies. I know my brother's going to be hating. But listen, if you rolling with a nigga and the nigga is acting like he interested in what you and your family got going on, let me tell you something. We don't care. <laughs> we don't care. Tariq, you're gonna be just like your dad. Yeah, you know. Papa wasn't rolling stone. You know what I mean? I'm moving dope. He moving dope. What about you and your mom? You know, your mom, I, I do work for your mom. She, is she a bad person? She is, but the best thing to do is get you home to your mom. Whenever a nigga act like he really interested, nigga ain't really interested. Nigga trying to get him. <laughs> So Tariq over here riding, and Tariq got the Tariq got the serious face on too. You know, you riding, you try not to like, man. He like he licked his lips and shit, trying to make it seem like he he really into it. I'm your only hope right now, man. Kane and them they tripping right now. We just gotta get you to your mom, get you to safety. Yeah, niggas ain't for real. <laughs> niggas ain't for real. Especially he didn't already knock it down. You ain't even got to do all of this to knock it down again. So you know Tariq is over here bullshitting. But Anya, we don't know. We don't know. We give Braden a hard time. Everyone gives Braden a hard time and say Braden is on that. That stuff. But we don't know if Anya is high right now. We know that Anya is a junkie also. So the same energy we give Braden, we got to give Anya that. <laughs> we got to give Anya the same thing. So she might be high right now. She she riding in the whip. Oh, Tariq, thank you for saving me. So Tariq gets all the information, not knowing that, goddamn, the Tejadas are right behind them, like literally following them. So they pull up to the house. Anya hops out. She's like, Tariq, I'll never be like you and your dad. And Tariq is like, well, shit, my daddy did. <laughs> you might be contradicting yourself, baby girl. Noma's like, who's out there? And then out of nowhere, pow, 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 we like, what the fuck? Diana's ass, a fucking Tejada comes out of the bushes, bucking. Bop, 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 bop. She didn't laid Anya down it's like nigga. That was not the plan. We were gonna try to catch Noma by herself. Security then ran out of here. Tariq sitting in the Range Rover. I know Kane is like, man, I better not get my damn Range Rover hit. Tariq got to drive off. There's blood on the stairs. Mom spaghetti. It's it's pandemonium out here. They hop in the 5.0 to reek driving off. Anya over here bleeding out. Anya is, oh, mom, I should have listened to you. I'm sorry for being a spoiled brat. Oh, save me. Noma's over like, girl, you tearing up my damn white outfit. I was going to wear this shit. I was going to take a picture on the private jet on the way to Legos. But no, now my shit's all bloody. Tariq sees it. Tariq, like, he dipping out. Tariq like, Arr! at this point. Yeah, listen, when you hear bullets, you just got to go, man. You don't want to look around and see who's shooting. Get the fuck out of there. You got to get out of here, man. They didn't tore that Burberry Carnegie up, man. But that's what happened when you mismatch designer, though. That's it. That's illegal. You know what I mean? You can't do that. You got the Burberry with the Gucci slippers. You just don't do that. I don't know who told Anya that this was fashionable, but this just ain't. You just can't do it. You know what I mean? You got to do something else. You can't have the gooch gooch with the burper. You know what I mean? You can't. And I don't even wear a designer like that. But I'm just saying from what I hear on TikTok, you can't do it. 
now it's got me wondering, is is Anya walking around in knockoffs? Is this the real deal? Because no one with money will ever put on the Gucci loafers with the Burberry cardigan. No. With the with the uh the fashion nova cupped up pants, no. <laughs> all is at all hands on deck. <laughs> Well, the body is over here. Got Anya over here shaking, cold as hell. Oh, I want to go to, I want to go to Africa. I've never been. Noma's over here. Noma, you know when you watch the movies, whenever someone's like, <laughs> whenever someone's dying, they put they they put the fingers over their eyes. They <laughs> Anya, oh, I want to go. Noma talk about. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going ahead and finish the job. You remember on I Am Legend when he had to get rid of the dog? He had to get rid of the dog because the dog then got bit. Oh, <laughs> Anya crying. It just, just, <laughs> I'm going to miss you, Anya. So Anya didn't die all because of damn Diana, the deviant. <laughs> So they get up out of here and Tariq get back to the spot. Tariq mad as hell, but rightfully so, man. But what have I been telling y'all for four seasons? What don't we do on this channel, y'all? What don't we do on this channel? I want to see the right answer, please. What don't we do on this channel, man? Because Tariq get back and he's pissed. Man, what the hell y'all got going on? That wasn't even the plan, Diana. Why'd you do that? She's got to feel my pain, Tariq. Man, Tariq should have slapped fire out of there. Now, we don't condone anybody getting slapped, but this is the power universe. We got our lives on the line here. Tariq almost got shot because of some shit Diana did. He should have told Diana, I knew not to never trust her to hide her. That's one thing we don't do on this channel. One, everybody's a suspect. Two. We don't remove anyone off the board until I confirm it. And three, we don't trust the fucking Tahada. So now everything's fucked up. Kane's upset talking about he wants to get even. He needs to be mad at damn Diana. Davis is over here taking notes. Drew is talking about, well, you know, I can probably get Nico to help us out. Tariq is talking about, listen, you Tahada is talking about a lot of bullshit. I delivered. I showed y'all where Noma was, and you niggas hit the wrong target. So now everyone is upset, and Tariq, I'm on Tariq's side like, man, Tariq is right. Y'all niggas fucked up, man. <laughs> y'all niggas, niggas fucked up. Diana, what was that shit, man? They should have took a gun and got rid of Diana right there on the spot, man. Kane would just have to be mad, but Diana is a loose cannon. So Tariq is like, all right, listen. Fucking talk to Nico, man. Effie, I need you and Brayden one last time. And Effie's talking about, oh, I don't know. You know, I'm trying to get out the game. I said no more. But little do we know, Effie was backdooring niggas, and she was talking to Kane. Remember she was talking to Kane? Kane, that's all right. Uh, my condolences to your mom. Effie, get over here. What are you talking to? What are you talking to your little boyfriend for? You need to be focused. Excuse me. You need to be focused. You need to be focused on what the fuck we got going on. While you over here playing lover girl, certified lover girl, certified, uh-uh. You need to be focused. She told, I'm just going to worry about myself. Man, no, you're not going to worry about yourself. We in deep doo-doo right now. We need to figure out the Don Carter situation. They trying to figure out the Noma situation. It's a shit show right now, Effie. But, of course, we know that Effie is an opportunist, and she, Effie going to do what Effie want to do. Just like Drew told Monet back in the OG uh, seasons, Zeke going to do what Zeke want to do. <laughs> Zeke going to do what Zeke want to do. Shut up, Drew. All right. So after this, they end up setting up Don. Now, they had they had Tariq go in, uh, to the warehouse, and then Drew went to set this whole thing up. Now, this is where things get interesting. Don Carter automatically thinks that this is a setup from Drew. Now, one thing in the power universe and any kind of mafia stuff, if they call you over somewhere and it's not in a public place, more than likely they're unaliving you. 
So, you know, when I meet up with the ladies, I meet up with the ladies in the public area. You know what I mean? They not coming to the crib. Dola the first time. Hell no. I don't trust nobody. The first time my parents and my sister and brother-in-law came over, they had to get a hotel. I had to gradually introduce them to the crib. You can't just come over to the crib. I don't know you. I know you, but I don't know you. So they have Don Carter come over here with Drew because Drew allegedly told Nico that they were set up to reek, but Don got to take the kill shot. When they get here, Don's, oh, no, this is a setup. He pulled a gun out, but then Braden shows up. Braden pulled out the Thule. So now we got our we got our training day moment. I'm going to have you niggas locked up. Rikers Island, spoon to the throat. All you niggas going to pay. Now, Tariq ain't really doing too much talking. Braden does say something, and we hear, we hear Don Carter like, shut up or I slap the shit out of you, Braden. Braden ain't say nothing else this whole scene. But then Drew, Drew was like, yeah, we got you. He's like, you know what? I'm going to have all y'all locked up. Matter of fact, matter of fact, wait, 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 wait. Tariq, 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 Tariq. I'm talking shit. That's on me, y'all. That's that's on me right now, y'all. That's on me. That's on me, y'all. I'm talking shit. I'm thinking I'm about to get them locked up. That nigga say. Say, man, you know we can put this shit on Nico. Look, we bring Nico down here. I put that on Nico. We all be good to go. And out of nowhere, Nico shows up. And I'm like, oh man, here we didn't get, here we go. Now I gotta now I gotta hear from Kendall. Now I gotta hear from Kendall. Kendall hitting me up. I told you, Mo. I told you. I'm like, it's eight o'clock at work, Kendall. I know you told me I can't respond right now. Kendall said, I told you Nico was gonna turn on that nigga. Well, she don't be cursing, so she didn't say nigga. She said, I told you he was gonna turn on that brother. I said, all right, Kendall, you making me cry right now. I'm at work. I was wrong. You were right. I can't get right. I done lost the integrity of the channel. People going to look at me like Mo don't know what they're talking about. Nico said, put your hands behind your back, you filthy animal. He said, you going to do this to me, Nico? He said, you damn right. Tariq is sitting there like, he, 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 he bitch ass nigga, I got you. Gotcha. You talked all that shit. So Tariq is over here. He powered up. He feeling like Brillo. He feeling like Brillo after the finale. He said, yeah, boy. We just set Don Carter up. Now, there was a lot of rumors going around that Don Carter could be Effie's dad, some kind of relationship. So I went with it and put that in the last thoughts, knowing that it was bullshit. Don Carter ain't got a relationship with Nan, nobody. They didn't arrest Don Carter. I'm like, man, shoot this nigga. At this point, they'll believe whatever Nico say. Shoot. Come up with a story. Don Carter was running drugs or something. He wrecked the car and put the car in his storage. Man, shoot this nigga, man. This is power. We can't depend on somebody being in jail this whole time. Well, they end up locking them up. So we got it. We got a dub there at least. And from there, shit, we don't see Tariq from there until the, the last thing. Until he goes and talks to his mom. Ma, guess what? It's all good now. My niggas, we out the hood now. So Tariq telling Tasha, we about to move about the hood. We finally got a piece of the pie. Tasha talking about, we going home? Nah, not necessarily. Y'all niggas is going outside of the state. I'm about to be in the dope game. So now Tasha's in the same situation she was when she left James. She wanted one thing, but the only person she loves in her life wanted another thing. And now Tariq is talking about, I'm taking y'all out of witness protection. I'm going to send y'all somewhere else. Man, Tasha is in witness protection with the feds. Keep her in witness protection and just tell her y'all want to relocate to another city or something. But Tariq's like, I'm going to be in a dope game. And Tasha, she's starting to realize that she is the one that hyped Tariq up to do this. All, all she had to do was when Tariq said, Ma... Teach me the game. 
All she had to do was tell Tariq, no, nigga. I don't even know the game. I'm slinging dope out the daycare. I don't even know the game, Negro. Tasha is the reason that this nigga is the way he is. And now he don't want to leave the dope game. All because she fucked him over. All because she fucked them over. Now we trying to figure out, okay, well, what, what, we, gonna, what we gonna do from here? Well, I'm gonna move y'all up out the hood. You know what I mean? We gonna, we gonna get right. <laughs> nah, I think, I think he turned him in. I think Nico turned him in, though. And from there, we see Tariq power up. He puts Effie in charge of the organization again. Well, in charge of the actual moving product. Then we got Braden. They said Braden was demoted, but like me and Brillo said, it's not a really a demotion. You really can't trust Braden when it comes to the product. So keep him away from the product, but keep him with a job. Keep him focused. That's the thing you got to do. You got to keep their mind occupied. Because if not, then they're going to be wilding out. So he's in charge of Fight Club, but Braden's even like, man, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't care about the money. I'm, you know what I'm saying? You my brother, man. We built this. We built this city on rock and roll. But he does tell Braden, hey, we need to find a new band also so we can start making some money. And then we see Tariq go and talk to Brother Chin. Hey, brother, what you got going on? He's like, man, what you mean what I got going on? He's like, what's up, man? What, what, what's going on, man? You got that product, man. I can move double what your sister was moving. I can make some shake. If you give me an opportunity, we got the infrastructure. We got one of the best lawyers in the business working the finances, a.k.a. Davis. We got the police on the payroll, a.k.a. Nico. We got me as the ghost. I'm just going to disappear. So what you say? We in for business or no? And we just got to assume that he went ahead and accepted this proposal. So what y'all think, man? Is this a good move for Tariq? Is this a good move for Tariq? <laughs> Damn, they ain't got Tariq, man. Tariq then got trapped back in the game, man. I thought Tariq was going to be on his way up and out of here. You know, I'm thinking Tariq is about to be you know, I, I I graduated college. I mean, I was an old nigga when I did, but I graduated college. I'm thinking Tariq is going to follow in Uncle Mo's footsteps, go to school, finish up Stansfield. But instead, this nigga just said, you know what? I'm going to be a ghost. Canonical studies? Fuck it. Um, advanced bullshit philosophy? Fuck it. Tariq basically just said, fuck everything, man. My dad had some shit, man. I don't even care no more. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Fuck it. If I'm going to crash out. Nigga, it's just big me, nigga. Boom. I'm really like that. <laughs> man. Best movie you could make at the time. The I mean... Me personally, the best move that I'm trying to make, I'm trying to finish school, man. I'm trying to finish school and, and just get the, I'm trying to get the penthouse, man. Let me get the penthouse and chill. Like, imagine if, if I lived here and my rent was free, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all think I'd be on YouTube? No, nah, man. I'm about to be chilling. If, if, if I was living rent free right now, you know what I'd be doing? I wouldn't be working. I wouldn't be on YouTube. I'd be. With anybody key, DJ screw by the gallon, bring the game along to me. Man, I'd be laid up right now with a baddie. Smoking the best. Oh, man, I'm not thinking about getting in the dope game. I'm living rent free. Life is good. Well, no, nah, my nigga Tariq, he out here, though. So we got to give Tariq credit. He did set it up. Tariq did make a power play. All credits to Tariq. So I I, I say it's a good move for Tariq. I want to see how they set it up, though. Potentially maybe a spinoff or something from it. Maybe Kane, he supplies Diana. 
Diana gives Kane at work from New York. So it could all work out. It could all work out. But either way, Tariq survived. So that's a plus. You know what I'm saying? That's a plus. I mean, I already expected him to. So we good. We good. And that's Tariq's story right there. That's Tariq's story right there, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Who we got next, man? Who we got next? Uh, Drew and Kane. That's really Drew, Kane. And Car I mean, we got Carter, but Carter's story is pretty much tied up into Tariq's. Uh, Monday mistakes we could talk about, like Carter's mistake going into the episode. But we got Drew and Kane. And then we could, yeah, we could finish with those, Drew and Kane. Fire Stokely. Well, they, they need a whole new band. So they're not even fucking with uh, No Lie Crew. Yeah, that No Lie Crew, they not even messing with them no more. All right, can he trust uh, Brother Chin? I mean, at this point, we don't even know, man. I mean, but he said he was going to be a ghost. So to reach trust won't really even be in the, uh, the Chin. You know what I mean? Like, he'll just, hey, Effie, y'all got to pick up that work, you know? And at the same time, I won't necessarily say it's more can Chin trust Tariq because Chin needs somebody to move product in New York City. So if Tariq is actually moving to work like he say he can, then yeah, you got to trust Tariq. But if Tariq can't move the product, then that's why there ain't no trust. So for Tariq, I don't think it's necessarily him worrying if Chin trusts him or not, because if he can prove that he's like, this is the dope game. The only way you can get trust in the dope game is if you can successfully move that work. Niggas don't want to hear excuses. They want to make sure that dope is there on time, make sure it's in cash and never double cross me. So I think the trust comes more from Chin's side because he has more to lose. Tariq got the operation, but he ain't got the work. You got the work, you can find people that's going to put in work for you. 